guys, Will here with WTF Car Reviews, and we're going to be reviewing the all new 2025 Honda CRV EX. And a big thanks to Alex and the rest of the management and staff here at Ocean Honda in Port Ritchie, Florida, for helping make this review possible. I'll leave a link to your inventory below, and if you're looking for a new car, SUV, or truck in the Port Ritchie, Tampa, Clearwater area, I would definitely recommend checking these guys out. And as for Alex. And for those of you guys who don't know, the CRV has been Honda's compact SUV since 1995. The fifth generation CRV that you see here was released in 2023, truly pushing the boundary between what is classed as a compact versus mid size SUV. And for 2025, the CRV is still available either as a hybrid or turbocharged power vehicle. Available in six different trim levels, ranging from the $30,000 LX up to the $40,000 Sport Touring Hybrid. The EX that we have here sits 2000 bucks above the LX, but adds power moonroof, heated front seats, and a power driver's seat, dual zone automatic climate control, blind spot monitoring, and rear cross traffic alert, all for a base price around 32000 bucks. What else we get for that money? Let's jump right in. So first thing you notice up front are these flickering LED daytime running lights. It's not actually flickering in real life, just the way the camera picks up the LEDs. Headlamps are full LED for the high and low beam. Same for the taillights. The only thing that's not LED in the CRV, which we'll check out in one second, are the rear turn signals. The functional airflow in both corners, the Honda badges, pretty large housing yard advanced safety features. I actually like the chrome strip that connects the headlights together. Usually not a big fan of shiny chrome, but with this radiant red metallic paint color, which is beautiful. The shiny chrome actually works the way that this black grill connects to the smoked headlight housing for the LEDs. Anyway, really clean front end styling. We get functional airflow up top for the radiator and intercooler down below with active shutters. The wheel and tire setup's a little bit more on the basic side for the EX, but to be expected, as a result of these more basic rims, we get a little bit beefier of a tire setup. The rims are 18 inches. The tires are Honkook Kennedy GT Control Tech all season tires. Dimensions are 235 60 r18 so the 60 series sidewall should really help when it comes to ride quality we'll see the 235 wide tires have any issue putting this 190 176 or 190 horsepower 176 pound foot of torque from this turbocharged 1.5 liter four cylinder we get some plastic cladding for the wheel wells and rocker panel side skirt area smart access for the driver and the front passenger led turn signal on the two-tone contrasted mirror blind spot monitoring on the glass available for the ex and up we get shiny chrome for the window trim moonroof up top that's also available from the ex and up a quick look at the window sticker here for this 2025 CRV 1.5 turbo two wheel drive EX with a $32,350 base price. You guys can pause, take a look at all the standard features. It is loaded, loaded with them. Options 455 for this beautiful radiant red metallic paint color, 30 combined MPGs, which is about 10 below what you would get from the hybrid, maybe about 15. Sport hybrid only sits about a thousand or two bucks above this EX, and it will be a lot more efficient. And you also get black wheels and black contrast all throughout the exterior, which if that's your thing, you probably would prefer the Sport Hybrid. I'll take a step back. Hopefully you can pick up the side profile on this 2025 CRV. From a styling perspective, really nothing has changed here for 2025. The facelift will be coming out next year for 2026. From what I've seen, it is a good looker. You get a push to open gas cap, as you guys saw, with easy fill. Honda says you could throw 87 octane fuel here for this 1.5 turbo, but for their Acura models, they recommend premium fuel. So do with that information as you would. I would still recommend putting premium fuel since they even have that recommendation for Acura. We get LED taillights. The turn signals are halogen. Reverse lights are LED. Chrome CRV badge in the lower left corner. Shout out Ocean Honda in Port Ritchie, Florida for helping make this review possible. The wiper is not housed underneath the third brake light. The third brake light is also LED. Shark fin style antenna. Reflectors in the plastic bumper area and dual exhaust tips. Speaking of the dual exhaust tips, let's fire up this 1.5 liter turbocharged four cylinder and hear how she sounds. All right, guys, that was the sound of the one and a half liter turbocharged four cylinder sold by Honda for the 2025 CRV. And it sounds okay, cranking out 190 horsepower, 179 pound feet of torque, 
made it so a CVT transmission sending the power to the front wheels. You can expect the zero to 60 time in the low to mid eight second range, weighing in around 3,480 pounds up to 3,600 pounds if you go with the all wheel drive models. But as you see, this motor sits really low in the engine bay, helping us out with the center of gravity, aluminum stick connecting the two strut towers together, and we get hydraulic struts as well, making this just feel more premium. We can shut this hood right down, take a step back, walk around this 2025 Honda CRV EX one more time. Let's take a step inside and see what we get with a really well loaded SUV at around $32,000 base price point. Taking a step inside, we'll set the lights back to auto so the car's not yelling at me. We get soft touch materials up top, some faux carbon in the center, aluminum door handle, soft touch in the center, and a leather trimmed armrest. Auto one touch up front, power windows out rear, lock and unlock, four-way adjustable mirrors, hard plastic down below to be expected, but a very solid amount of storage. You'll stack two or three six-inch subs out rear, and you'll probably fit two 24-ounce water bottles. It's labeled CRV above one of your six Honda speakers, which the sound system will not blow you away. I hope you don't expect it to, but it is a very solid system for a base, and you do get this system on just about all trims until you get towards the top of the CRV lineup. The seats are this really nice two-tone fabric trim, solid bolstering, even for the bottom portion, fully adjustable, at least for the driver's seat. The LX does not get power seats for either of the seats, and both of these front seats are heated. You get two-way lumbar control. You can recline, drop, lift, and slide the front seats, but taking a step inside, oh, we can really check it out. So foot on the brake, engine start, stop, and everything fires right to life. So just like Hondas of the past, they do a really great job of making their interiors feel and look premium, especially considering the price point. No, we don't get the leather wrapped steering wheel on the EX. You gotta go up to the higher trims to get that. EX selling up all will have the leather trim steering wheel. The dashboard is soft touch, however. We get the seven inch touchscreen, digital gauge display with about a 6,500 RPM tack, 140 mile an hour speedometer. I was a little bit worried about that tire pressure gauge or light but thankfully it turned off new car problems. Anyway, the steering wheel, although it's not leather wrapped, it is thick, well-weighted, solid 10 and two and a great nine and three. The horn area feels rubberized. The horn itself, really loud and aggressive. We'll do a window check, see if we get dual panes. We do not get dual panes on the EX, but it's thick, single pane of glass. On the left side, volume and skip, source, voice commands, home, and the adjustments for the infotainment. The adjustments include group, I'm not gonna have to check out that. Settings, gauge display settings, warnings, range and fuel, speed and time, driver attention, seat belts, maintenance, safety support, no content, brightness, settings, gauge display settings right back to where we started. My personal favorite would be range and fuel, so we will leave it there. On the right side, radar cruise control, lane keep assist, and our adjustments, the stocks have a very satisfying click. Auto headlamps, I don't think there's auto high beams, no, but it is available on the higher trims. No auto rain sensing wipers either but we got the intermittent stock right here with the rear wiper adjustments at the tip. We mentioned the padded dashboard, tilt and telescoping steering wheel, the internal traction control, the adjustments for the air vents are like this with a honeycomb gloss black actual design for the air vent grill. Hopefully you get a good look at the pedals. We mentioned the padded dashboard probably twice. Seven inch touchscreen. We'll check out the backup camera real quick. Gear slider control and the CVT transmission. So the backup camera, not the best resolution and it looks black and white. I haven't seen that from any vehicle. Definitely a more dated display. So if this is where you get your cost cutting measures is the backup camera to be expected. If you want a better resolution display, you can get that on the higher trims with the larger touchscreen. Anyway, though, we throw it right back in the park. We return right back to the previous screen. No navigation, but we get wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Beneath that, more air vents, hazards, dual zone, automatic front climate control. That's on the EX and up. No wireless phone charger. We get a USB A, USB A, and C port. 12 volt, 180 watt max, and a ton of storage over here. Drive mode selector. We get normal, econ, and snow mode. No sport mode. We'll start off in normal, try out econ, and just see what the differences are. We can turn off our auto engine start stop two, held descent control electronic parking brake with brake hold, sport mode on the gear selector, and a low gear. Two cup holders, you'll fit 24, maybe 32 ounce bottles. Nice storage spot for pens or business cards. Gushy soft leather trimmed armrest. The center console is very spacious. You'll easily fit a 12 pack of 16 ounce cans or bottles. The glove box, it is damped, very well damped, not lined in felt, but you'll fit 20 license plates. You'll easily fit a pair of shoes. You'll probably fit a third shoe in there. 
probably not a fourth one though. We don't get a frameless or auto dimming rear view mirror. Gotta pull this flappy thing to dim it. Interior lights are LED. You can open up this power moonroof. Also EX and up. It opens up quickly. See if it goes out any further. It does not. But towards the end of the front row, we can poke our way out of here. Beautiful day today in Port Ritchie, Florida. Sunny and 89 degrees according to this 2025 CRV. That's about it though, guys, for the front seat. Let's hop out back, see how much space is offered back there, as well as the overall quality of the materials. So up top, out back, just like most of the other CRV trims, just about all the trims we reviewed in this channel, we get hard plastic up top and for the center, we still get that faux carbon trim, aluminum door handle, and nice soft padded leather armrest, power window, decent storage, and you'll fit some car accessories, some snacks, and easily fit in a big gulp up front. And it's flat, so even if the lid's not tightly on, shouldn't spill. CRV above one of your six speakers. The rear seats, we still get that two-tone fabric contrast. Ton of legroom, one of the most spacious compact SUVs I've ever been in. Probably the most spacious on the road today until the other big boys start to step up for the compact segment. But taking a step inside, I'm a little bit over six feet tall. I got like eight inches of knee room. Headroom, they cut out a piece of this roof, so I still have about two inches of it. And check this out. These seats recline seriously, seriously back. So I'm basically laying down back here. I have about a foot of headroom. You do compromise a little bit of knee room, but as you see, I still have plenty of space. If you're under six foot eight to seven feet tall, I think you'll still be fine in the back of a CRV. That says a lot because this is still considered a compact. SUV. We get two air vents, two USB-C ports, map pocket behind the passenger seat, no map pocket behind the driver. The interior light is LED. We get a hook for the driver's side grab handle, no hook for the passenger. Anyway, that's about it for the back seat. Let's lift this reclined seat that, as you see, how ridiculously far back it reclines, but let's lift it back up so you have a better idea of the cargo space. So one feature that we do not get that I wish we did is the power opening lift gate. You got to pull. I know really difficult to do, but you don't get that until you start crossing the EXL and up. But as you see guys, for the non-hybrid CRV, this is a stupid low floor. At six feet tall, my knees at the same level and it cuts in. So you have an unbelievably high amount of stacking space. You can probably stack three suitcases on top of each other and you'll fit probably three or four when it comes to the floor area. So probably eight suitcases will fit in the back of a CRV. Perfect for pets. I'll leave a link right here to show you exactly how much cargo space there is with the second row up and with the second row down, but I guarantee it, it is towards the top of the segment. And since we don't have the hybrid, check it out. We get some secret storage with our spare tire. Fix a flat kit, jack, and funnel next to it. All really impressive features. All for the $32,000 base price point after the paint color, after destination, around 34, 35. LED interior lighting, 12 volt, 180 watt max hooks as well. That's about it though, guys, for the cargo space. Really impressive. Overall, really impressive SUV in general. No power lift gate, so you gotta use your arm. I know, guys, really big deal. That's about it though, guys, for the inside and outside of this beautiful 2025 Radiant Red Honda CRV 1.5 Turbo EX. For a relatively base model at around the $30,000, $35,000 price point, this is a really well-loaded vehicle and it is beautiful. Performance-wise, let's take this 2025 Honda CR-V 1.5 TEX out for a drive and see what it's got. All right, guys, now we've just about seen everything we need to see with the inside and outside of the all-new 2025 Honda CR-V 1.5 Turbo EX. Let's take it out for a drive and see what it's got. My first impressions, really smooth power delivery. The steering feels buttery smooth as well. Quiet interior too, although we only have the single pane windows here. Brakes feel really solid. Take a step out here. Steering feels really good in normal mode. We'll see if it changes up in Econ. Throttle solidly sensitive. Good low end, solid mid range. Yeah, pick up speed very well. The turbocharged power plant won't blow you away up top. Honda engines historically have been screamers up top. That's not the case here, but we do have a very strong mid range. Ride quality with these beefy 60 series sidewalls is also really good. 
probably the best ride that you're gonna get from the CRV will be either from the LX or the EX, while the EX gives you a lot more features than the LX. So this may be the most luxurious feeling CRV in the lineup outside of the materials because they are a little bit more basic compared to the touring trends. We can take a step out here, open her up a little bit, about half throttle. Wow, okay. Yeah, mid-range here is strong, feels really good. Smooth too. Honda hasn't done CVTs for a very long time, but this CVT feels very refined. CVTs in general, they like more power. The less power you have, the more it feels like you're just never in that power band. But a turbocharged engine has a lot of beef in the low and mid range. So for a CVT, a turbo does do it some favors. The steering, check it out, feels good. See if anything changes in the sport transmission mode. No, steering feels the same, but the transmission definitely gets more aggressive. We're holding around 22, 2300 RPM. Trying out a real world turning radius test. Let's see if this CRV can make it. It can make it easily. Staying in sport mode, throttle feels a little bit more sensitive. Woo! Bump. Wow, the ride is fantastic. Steering doesn't change in the sport transmission mode. We can take it out of the sport transmission mode, regular drive, throw it into Econ. Throttle immediately gets significantly number. Steering doesn't feel like it changes, maybe a tiny bit lighter compared to the normal mode. But yeah, overall steering is about the same. Throttle, very, very big difference, but if you want to get that 30 combined MPGs, I'd recommend leaving it in Econ mode. In normal mode with a turbo, you're probably going to be a little bit closer to like 26, 27. Body roll is limited, good handling, half throttle, solid amount of punch, but again, don't expect it to blow you away. All right, guys, taking a step out here, we can open her up a little bit more, throw it into normal mode. On the gas. Woo! It does seem like it picks up a second life after about 4,500 RPM. That's been the case for just about all CRVs we've been reviewing lately. And at highway speed, I'm not sure if you can pick it up, but it is really, really quiet in here. Steering still feels nice and sharp, even at the higher speeds. We could try out a real world turning radius test. Looks like we're good. Turning radius is also good. About half throttle normal mode. Yeah, excellent mid range. No reason to beat it up any further. Overall guys, if you're looking for a spacious, premium feeling and reasonably quick SUV, but you don't wanna spend more than 30 to $35,000, and you would like to have a little bit of peace of mind when it comes to reliability, this 2025 Honda CRV EX does all of that. With a base price of 32,200 and change, you get a spacious interior, all the features you could possibly want or need outside of maybe leather, heater, ventilated seats. But at that point, you're talking about four or $5,000 above what we're talking about here. No, it would be nice to have a leather wrapped steering wheel. It would be nice to have a power lift gate, but those are creature comforts you can get on the EXL for another about 1,500 to 2,000 bucks. At $33,000, $34,000 as it sits here after destination, this might be the best value of a spacious, premium feeling SUV that's still efficient. You're getting about 30 MPGs with almost 200 horsepower, zero to 60 in the low to mid eight second range. If that's what you're looking for, guys, I would 100% recommend checking out the 2025 Honda CRV EX. One more time, let's throw it in a little bit quicker than we should. Body roll test, not bad. And a big thanks to Alex and the rest of the management and staff here at Ocean Honda in Port Ritchie, Florida for helping make this review possible. I'll leave a link to your inventory below and if you're looking for a new car, SUV, or truck, in the Port Ritchie, Tampa, Clearwater area, I would definitely recommend checking these guys out. And as for Alex, and a huge thanks to all you guys for watching. I had a great time making this video. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If you've already subscribed, thank you so much. You guys know the channel is just not possible without you, and I really appreciate the constant support. But 
Again, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Leave a like too, it really helps me out the YouTube algorithm, that's how these videos get promoted to new people. Leave a comment, let me know what you like, let me know what you don't like. Leave a comment, let me know if there's any specific cars, SUVs, or trucks you wanna see reviewed on this channel, and I'll definitely try getting those videos for you ASAP. But other than that, again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope all of you have a great day.